art-centric spotlights performances, events, and people at the Arvada Center. In this segment, we go behind the scenes of the children's theater production, Schoolhouse Rock Live. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Schoolhouse Rock Live pops on the stage as a colorful, whimsical, just gotta hum along production. I got three favorite cars that get most of my job done. Like the PBS series of the 70s, the stage production entertains and educates kids and adults alike. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic... It's very direct. It's a lot of comedy. You know, it's a lot of great music. It's non-stop. Music director David Nels is behind many Arvada Center productions, including main stage blockbusters like Les Miserables, where live orchestras perform. In contrast, children's theater productions usually rely on tracked music because of the huge number of performances they do. It takes three legs to make a tripod or to make a table stand. With Schoolhouse, Nell struck a happy medium. He got a bunch of musicians together for a day to record live music for the Schoolhouse track. We all know this stuff, so we were like, oh, it'd be cool if we did this, or let's put, like, I brought a little toy piano that I got for Christmas, and I was like, let's put the toy piano on this, it'll be amazing, you know. So there was a, there was a lot of, of kind of having fun with all this music and, and spending a day doing it, and uh, that's pretty much what we did. So you're hearing a live band that's recorded, uh, and it's almost as if they are singing to the live band. Announce a special kind of word, it's any name you ever heard, I find it quite interesting. Announce a person, place, or thing. And we played with some of the music, we, we rocked some up even more, um, did a few other things with it, David Nels played with it a lot, and it's, um, it's fantastic what he did with it. Hilzebeck, like Nels, is a veteran of Arvada Center Productions. She usually wears the choreography hat, for Schoolhouse, she stepped into a directing role, too. In the beginning, you don't quite know what's going on. I wanted to pull the audience in to kind of have to try to figure out what's going on and who these other people are when they're his thoughts. And it's explained to them pretty quickly. But the wow factor is just once they start into the songs, it just doesn't stop. Everybody exercise your body for circulation. The stuff that Kitty has done with the staging and what the actors are doing is amazing. The choreography is incredibly detailed and we're always moving. We never really stop and slow down, which is fun. It's exciting. Schoolhouse revolves around Tom, the teacher, and all his thoughts, which are played by other characters. Or glad hey. An interjection Woo. starts a sentence right. I'm the intellectual thoughts, so I'm a bit of a nerd. I'm always kind of a little removed from the other thoughts at times. Hilzebeck wanted the audience to connect with the thoughts, to have the thoughts resemble Tom, yet also be distinctive. So it's how do we accentuate that? So like Matthew has numbers and math problems on his pajamas and he's a, more of the nerd, so he has his hair parted in the pocket protector. Now I have a friend named Rufus Xavier Sasparilla. See you later, alligator. Make no mistake about it, just because it's in the children's theater doesn't mean it's just for kids. Kitty and I are not approaching this as if it's a children's theater piece. We're approaching it as if it is a theater piece with rock music that people love. Let's get this thing in action. That's what's happening. To work, play, live, to I just think the energy is going to be so high that um, it'll just be, the hour is going to fly by. <laughs> Schoolhouse Rock Live runs through May 15th. For tickets and more information, go online to arvadacenter.org or call the box office at 720-898-7200.